Hi there, it's Bridget O'Flaherty with Thread Painted Art. Wanting to connect with you guys to let you know about what I solution I came up with for storing my fabric. I put a shout out a few weeks ago looking for ideas on how you set up your sewing rooms and how you deal with your fabric yardage and got a lot of great feedback and great ideas for that. Thank you for anybody who contributed, I really appreciate it. And ended up deciding on cardboard. So I, a lot of people were suggesting the comic book boards and I have a lot of cardboard in my life. So I cut up cardboard boxes to the size that I want. So I've got sort of a medium size for most of my um, yardage will probably go on this size. So it's about a six by seven, five by seven piece. And then I've got little pieces for my little pieces of fabric in my life, which I seem to have a lot of as well. And then I have some slightly larger boards for some of my yardage. The other thing that I did was I decided to use a label maker because I'm a little bit nerdy like that and I like to be really organized. So I have in here um, labels for the different types of fabrics that I've got. With my hand dyes, then I've got my indigos. I know what, what type of um, dye method I used and what kind of dye stuff I used, whether it was avocado or pomegranate matter, any of the whatever the dye is that I ended up using. I know what I've used. I know the kind of fabric that I used it on. And in the other fabrics that I have, I've actually measured and I ironed because I like ironing um, and put all of that information into each of these labels. So it's going to take me a while. As you can see, I've got lots of fabric here, so I've still got a ways to go, but I'm excited that I'm going to get organized. And if you've got sewing room shots that you want to show me, I'd love to see them down in the comments. Feel free to show me your stuff, but in the way that you organize your sewing room. Thanks very much, and I'm going to keep on unfolding.